What up, gang? It's your boy Zot back with another banger. Hey, you ever wonder why some strains lose potency, resistance, vigor, athleticism over time? Even despite the fact they might come from good parents, the issue could be bottlenecking. Today, we're breaking down what bottlenecking is and why it's one of the most overlooked threats in breeding. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Get it! Like, comment, share, subscribe, you heard me? Yeah, you know it. So stuck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to this gang, man. They know me in DC, they know me in VA, you know I got shot out the DMV. Zaza Genetics, New Jersey. Molotov Mac. Pre orders are almost sold out. Make sure you take advantage. It's limited edition packaging, 50% off. A free Molotov Mac t shirt. You get to flex a little bit longer because it won't go out to the public for another 90 days after the 23rd so we talk about the importance of understanding the tools in your toolbox and this is a prime example when i say it's very important it's imperative that you not only understand the tools in your toolbox but know how to apply certain mechanics for instance a back cross you don't want to just look at a back cross as something simple that you just perform, right? Just taking a child back to the parent for whatever reason. Um, you have transgression back crosses. You have um, advanced back crosses. And if not used properly, will collapse your gene pool. It will create bottlenecking to the extent of collapsing your gene pool. Remember, we are here to create an inbred line um, but inbreeding the practice of it can be very detrimental if you don't know how to use the tools properly so on the flip side we also know that using our tools properly um, using back crosses specifically for an objective reason um, will always turn out in your favor right you are here to create a desired outcome and you have these tools at your disposal to help you create that desired outcome when we talk about a transgression back cross three or more um back crosses to to the same elite parent uh it is absolutely beneficial when you are looking to isolate and fix one particular trait but understand um, after three or more back crosses, you start to run the risk of um, a series of potential issues. Our inbred line is the ultimate goal, right? Um, it is moving further away from diversity. So each move that you make is key. And you have to be very precise with your moves. This is why many breeders at some point in their inbred line will implement some form of diversity through open pollination or um, because you you, you want to understand in most cases you're starting with just a male and a female that's ultimately putting you at risk of bottlenecking from the very beginning right because um, remember bottlenecking is the opposite of diversity sometimes bottlenecks happen right from the start uh, if your breeding project begins with just one male and one female, or worse, just a clone, that's even worse, you're starting with a tiny genetic base. Even if both plants are fire, the lack of diversity limits what you can build long term. Another common trap you see all the time, a huge trap of bottlenecking, clone only. Clone only with no seed backup. These clone only lines, right? Once the clone dies, you're done. Once the, once the clone dies, you're done. Uh, while cloning keeps plants identical, it does nothing to preserve genetic diversity. And um, remember, it's all about genetic diversity. You want to find that proper balance of inbred line while maintaining some genetic diversity. Now, eventually, you could be the guy who wants to complete uh, a line 
based on uniformity, right? And complete homozygosity. And every seed that you pop will be exactly the same, similar to um, a line of uh, dogs, right? They all, all the puppies come out looking exactly the same. It's possible those uh, uh, lines and, 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 and breeds of dogs happen through alleles, identical alleles and complete homozygosity throughout the entire line. So it is possible it'll take you a billion and one years, right? Just understand that um, homo, homozygosity, the, 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 the beginning of the, the foundation to start your homozygous inbred line uh, starts at year 20 of your progress, right? Once you get to about 20 years of selective breeding, you've now gotten to the progress of building a foundation to now start to create homozygosity. So it takes years, man, 50 to 100 years in some case. It just depends. That bottlenecking can sometimes happen on purpose or can happen accidentally, right? You're doing the hard work of selective breeding and sometimes you might just squeeze your line just a little too hard, right? You might just push a little too far and cause uh, bottlenecking to happen. And we understand now that bottlenecking is the loss of that athleticism and vigor and structure and resistance and all of these things that are desirable that we need to fix within our line. You, you know, they're at risk when, when we think in terms of too much inbreeding or pushing too far. That's why awareness is key. Once you understand bottlenecking, you, you know what to spot early on and you can take the proper practices, use the proper tools in your toolbox to prevent it from happening. Like, comment, share, subscribe, you heard me? Yeah, you know it. All right, so hopefully that gives us a good understanding of bottlenecking, how to prevent it, you know, um, what takes place, you know, some of the risk that we face, and um, overall, Give, a, give us a good understanding moving forward as we create our inbred lines. Much love to uh, Team Zaza YouTube for pulling up to QCE the podcast last night. It was lit. We had a blast, man. Um, much love. Make sure you catch us next week for episode nine. Visit acinfinity.com. If you do, you can use code Team Zaza at checkout and they get you a discount about 15% off. And um, I also get a commission, so it helps me out a ton each month so that's a good way that you can support you can always support by just pulling up to the discord liking sharing and commenting on the youtube and don't forget we got a grow off grow series coming up we want to suggest the new top strain what are you growing in your garden we need the information we're going to grab that information and use it for this grow series we all going to grow together other than that man um, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And until we meet again, man, it's your boy Za. And I'm out with another banger. Like, comment, share, subscribe, you heard me? Yeah, you know it. Turn up the leaf blower in the long boy. Should've been a hippie, should have been a shower. Red with no dread, black cock, oh yeah. Another thing, don't forget to join the Discord.